Are you looking to put your home computer to work earning Bitcoin when you're not using it? I got you covered. Maybe you have a monster computer with a massive GPU and CPU. Maybe you're rocking a slick gaming laptop with some crazy hardware in it. When you're in school, at class, at work, on vacation or sleeping, you can put your PC to work mining Bitcoin in less than 10 minutes. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in 10 minutes and 10 easy steps, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your PC to mine Bitcoin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm the Hobbyist Miner. I started mining three years ago with two MSI 970s. Jump ahead, I have 100 graphics cards, over 30 Bitcoin miners, and well, I love crypto mining. In today's video, I hope you learned something and come back next time. So feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button to be notified when I drop my next crypto mining video. Before we get too much farther in today's video, I wanna give a special shout out to the team over at Endless Mining for sponsoring today's video. I've had the pleasure of getting to know Augustin very well over the last few years and have met him in person at Mining Disrupt 2023. If you guys are in the market for buying your next Bitcoin or Caspa miner, go reach out to Augustin, great guy. He can get you really good pricing on your favorite S21s, your S19K Pros, and the amazing new KS5s. And if you don't have a place to run them, Augustin's got you covered over at Endless Mining. They offer hosting in the United States, which is awesome. Finally, at checkout, you wanna save a few bucks? Well, Augustin's got you covered. He's provided the promo code RPM face reveal that you give you guys a discount at checkout. Go check out all the details directly down below and tell Endless Mining I said hello. All right, 10 steps, 10 minutes. Let's get started. All right, step number one is super easy and most of you probably already have this done. You're going to want Windows 10 or Windows 11 installed on whatever computer you're looking to earn Bitcoin on. If you're unfamiliar on how to do this and you want some help, I'll put a link to a fellow content creator's video down below where they walk you through step-by-step step how to install Windows 10 and Windows 11. All right, step number two is a simple one. You just wanna make sure you're on the internet. You can be connected via a wired ethernet connection from your computer directly to your router or via wireless. As long as the connection is stable, you're good to go. Mining doesn't use a lot of bandwidth, so you can get away with five down, five up, very simple and very easily. Step number three, we want to disable Hibernate and Screensaver because we don't want your computer falling asleep and disabling some of the resources it needs when it's mining. So to do this, hit the Windows key in the bottom left-hand corner, and we're gonna start out by typing in Screensaver. That's gonna be the first thing that pops up, and we're gonna click on that. That's gonna bring up your Windows Screensaver. Right now, we got the good old ribbons running at 15 minutes. So let's start there by clicking the drop-down box, going to None. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go down here to where it says Change Power Settings. Click there. Right here, it's going to give you some of your power settings and we're gonna click change power settings. Once that's done, you can see that if I'm running on a laptop, it has a battery. If you're running on a normal gaming computer or workstation computer, it's not gonna have the battery option, but we wanna come in here and make sure that everything in here is set to never because we hate to get started mining and then find out that our computer pretty much went into hibernate or sleep mode 30 minutes into mining and cuts into, well, our Bitcoin profits. Once that's completed, hit save changes, close out of that hibernation window, hit apply, and hit okay. Step number four, close all of your programs and browsers before you get started mining. Any of that takes up resources and well, cuts into your profits. So first thing to do, unfortunately, go through guys and close all of these programs that we have open. You wanna have nothing running, no Photoshop, no, let's see, no smiley faces in uh, paint and no browsers with boatloads of content and tabs open. You want absolutely nothing open at the time of mining. Step number five, open your favorite internet browser and go to NiceHash's website. If you guys want a direct link, I'll leave one directly down below in the video description that will also include step-by-step -step instructions. Once you're over on NiceHash's website, Click Get Started in the upper right hand corner. This is going to bring up a sign up page. Walk through the sign up process and I'll see you guys on the other side. 
Step number six, we've created an account and we've logged in to NiceHash. We're now on the NiceHash dashboard. Our next step is to install the NiceHash miner, which will earn us Bitcoin. So in the upper left hand corner, click on mining. In the upper right hand corner, click download miner. This will bring up a page with different miners. Pick the second one that just has nice hash miner with the white and orange logo. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to prompt us with another download nice hash miner. When you do that, it's going to begin to download the miner. In the meantime, it's going to give us our nice hash wallet. Go ahead and copy that. Once your download is finished, you can go ahead and launch the software. I have it right here in my download history. I'm going to go ahead and left click on it. And that is going to launch the installer for NiceHash. We're going to walk through it here. You can read through the terms of service if you're interested. Click I agree and click next. Look at that. It finished rather quickly. We're going to go ahead and click finish. And it's going to launch the actual mining software. Step number eight. Let's get started mining. So we've launched the NiceHash miner software. It's going to give us another terms of service um, agreement. Click I agree. It's now going to give us a disclaimer. We're going to hit I agree. It's going to ask us our language. We're going to hit next. All right. So because I've tested this out and played with it before, I get this pop up saying that it's detected the nice hash address in my registry. Most likely you're going to hit add new mining address here. And this is where it's going to want you to. You can scan a QR code and things like that. But if you remember, we copied our address, that nice hash address to our clipboard. So we have an option right down here that says enter nice hash mining address manually. We're going to click there and we're just going to hit control V and that paste it right in there. And we're just going to hit save. Next, it's going to go ahead and it'll take a few minutes to run through testing out a few things. So give it a few minutes. Check back in just a second. During the install process, if you come to any windows like this, no need to be concerned. It's just two types of miners that would like to be installed that run inside the nice hash software. So I'm going to hit I agree for both of them. Next, it's going to ask to reboot the actual NiceHash software. We'll click restart. All right, so the software is ready, guys. It detects our one GPU and our one CPU. So what should we do? Well, let's just go ahead and click the play button to get started mining. If at any time you see this window pop up, don't be concerned. Go ahead and click allow access. NiceHash is trying to install another miner to go ahead and test and benchmark. Now. By default, your GPU is enabled, but we want to go up to top to devices and you can see here the GPU is benchmarking, which is great, but my CPU is disabled. So if you'd like to mine with your CPU as well, go ahead and check off the box for CPU. It will now benchmark both of these devices and let this run. I'd honestly, this could take a few minutes. It could take a few hours, but you want it to benchmark as long as possible to determine the best miner to use on your system for your CPU and GPU, which will result in being the most profitable. I highly recommend that while benchmarking or mining is occurring, that you don't try to use your GPU or your CPU. Mining is trying to use 100% of both of those devices to be the most profitable. Trying to play games, check your email, return messages, it's not gonna work out well. Your entire computer is gonna seem goofy, a little locked up and super sluggish. Well. It's using all the resources. If you are mining with a laptop, I highly recommend that you actually flip it over on its side. And I'll show you a great example of how I do it. Because of the way that laptops are designed, the fans are really gonna start to spin up quickly here to help cool off your CPU and GPU. And when you have it face down, like you normally would use a laptop, it actually is restricting airflow. So propping it up like this does a great job of helping to cool your equipment. All right, step number nine. This can be completed on another computer while this is running, or you can do this on your phone on the NiceHash app that you can download and sign into. Step number nine is we wanna get our Bitcoin wallet address, not the one in NiceHash, but actually our true Bitcoin wallet address. And that would be from a device that you've purchased. For me, I love the Tangent wallet and I highly recommend the Tangent wallet. I'll put a link directly down below to it, as well as a full step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to use it. So we're over on the NiceHash dashboard. We're gonna click mining. And you're going to see our miner is in here right now. And if you click the arrow next to it, it's actually benchmarking, which is fantastic. So something to keep track of is, and kind of while we talk through things, in the very middle, you'll see unpaid mining balance. This is the balance that has been earned from mining. And it'll take quite a while 
maybe an hour or two to start to update. When you actually have funds in your unpaid mining balance, there's a countdown timer to the right. When that countdown timer hits zero, it will move from unpaid balance over to your Bitcoin wallet balance. Now that's your wallet balance on NiceHash, not in your Bitcoin wallet, like for what we talked about before, our Tangent wallet. So that timer, I think, is about every three hours. Keep an eye on it. It's either two and a half or three hours, and that will count down. After you've actually purchased or set up an individual separate Bitcoin wallet that you own outright, as I said, I highly recommend the Tangem. You can come into the NiceHash website, go to the drop down arrow up top and click withdraw. And you can withdraw your funds from NiceHash and put them directly on your Bitcoin wallet. Step number 10, you are now mining Bitcoin with your computer. How awesome is that? And finally, Step number 11, if you guys want to talk about this more, you want some help, you want to talk more about mining, more about hardware, more about GPU rigs, feel free to stop over to the Hobbyist Miner Discord. I'll put a link directly down below. You got to follow step 11 though. Come over and join the community. I'd love to talk with you more one-on-one. -on -one. That's going to wrap things up for today. I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Hopefully this video was helpful. 10 easy steps to earn Bitcoin with your computer when it's not in use. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to be notified when I drop my next video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at Quantum Expeditions. Bitcoin mining can be incredibly profitable, but as most of you know, doing it yourself can be complicated and risky. Unpredictable costs, equipment failures, and high energy costs make it very difficult for regular people to achieve consistent gains, let alone scaling up. Quantum Expeditions makes it easy for retail investors like yourself to participate in the vast opportunities of large-scale Bitcoin mining without ever leaving your house. Join a community where you can contribute your knowledge and feedback or learn from the experience of others. Now, for a limited time, you can invest directly in the company through an exclusive Regulation CF crowdfund and earn from the future growth in the industry. Quantum Expeditions just completed their first deployment of Bitcoin miners, three weeks ahead of schedule. So now is an excellent time to get involved. Come check out the Quantum Expeditions link in the description below.